breaking news. The founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, is finding out if he'll be extradited to the United States. He's accused of plotting, plotting to hack computers to obtain and disclose national defence information. Our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, is at the Old Bailey. Martin, what's happening? I'm not singling you out. Well, Julian Assange has just been told good news by the judge, uh, who has said that she has disagreed with the American application to have him extradited. She has ruled that there will be no extradition, uh, and she said she has ordered his discharge. Um, the, uh, the Americans, of course, have a right to appeal, so I guess it's going to be some time uh, before we hear what the American reaction is going to be. But she, uh, the judge, um, Vanessa Baresta, has said in the last few minutes that she has decided that Julian Assange's uh, extradition to America on espionage charges, 17 of them, would be oppressive. Um, that news uh, doesn't seem to have filtered out uh, to the dozens of uh, Assange supporters outside the Old Bailey. In the last few minutes, they've still been shouting for his freedom. Now, whether he is to be free today um, is a moot point. Uh, the judge started giving her reasons for her decision just after 10 o'clock and has waited until the end of, uh, of that explanation before announcing uh, that decision. Um, but uh, I'm just being told from a colleague in court that lawyers will be coming back at a quarter to 12, so in about 45 minutes, to prepare a bail application. So there is a dis distinct possibility uh, that after... Uh, so many, uh, 21 months in custody at Belmarsh Prison, seven years uh, inside the Ecuadorian embassy, uh, where Julian Assange fled to avoid extradition to Sweden, the original extradition bid, um, that he could be walking out of the Old Bailey today. Um, but yet yeah, that has to be decided. And of course, we wait to hear to see whether the American government will lodge an appeal uh, against his uh, Martin, let's against just remind ourselves of, of, of Julian exercise. Assange's status at the moment. Um, he uh, was, of course, uh, originally uh, sought for extradition to Sweden uh, on uh, sex-related charges. Those uh, have now lapsed. Uh, he's been serving a sentence in the UK courts for um, jumping bail and going into the Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, is that sentence now uh, expired and, and it's just a question of whether he's extradited to the UK or becomes a free man? Yes, that, um, that sentence of 50 weeks he was given for jumping bail after his arrest uh, at the end of uh, that, uh, that time in the Ecuadorian embassy has finished. That was May last year, so that sentence uh, has, um, has been completed. Sorry, May 2019. Um, so that uh, sentence has been completed. It was shortly after he was given that sentence for jumping bail that the Americans filed 17 espionage charges against him, uh, which meant that at the end of that sentence uh, he had his bail rejected while this extradition process um, was played out. Um, the 17 files, uh, sorry, the 17 charges filed by the Americans accuse him of receiving and publishing classified military and diplomatic documents, um, among which, of course, was video of uh, the alleged shooting by American troops from a helicopter of Iraqi civilians. A lot of what he published, and there were thousands and thousands of documents published via Liki, uh, WikiLeaks, um, were connected with uh, US government actions during the Iraq war and the Afghanistan war. Um, the indictment uh, that uh, led to this extradition hearing um, accused Julian Assange of repeatedly encouraging sources with access to classified information to steal and provide it to WikiLeaks to disclose. Now, all of that uh, has been rejected by the district judge uh, Vanessa Barista. Uh, she has ruled in the last few minutes there will be no extradition. But as I said earlier, it's now open to the American government uh, to appeal 
against that decision. Um, and we should hear within the hour um, certainly any uh, application by Assange's lawyers for his bail, but I think we might have some indication from the American government whether it is going to appeal against this decision. But the judge here has ruled out extradition, saying it would be oppressive on Julian Assange for him to be extradited and stand trial in the United States.